Welcome everyone to Horror with Heidi. I'm Heidi and this is Close Your Eyes, part five. Um, so I haven't played this game in actually a couple of weeks, but I did just finish editing everything, so I still remember exactly what happens. So we're running through what is assumably a library, away from some crazy creature that looks like the dust bunnies from Big Comfy Couch. It chased us down the hallway, now it's chasing us through this library. Alright, so it only got me once so far. Maybe if the gods of gaming are friendly, it won't take me a hundred tries to get through this place. We'll see. Oh, so much for that! <laughs> see if there's another route because I believe it got me up there last time or unless there is only one route I don't know I don't know if I've ever tried running away from it I've always tried just kind of circumventing it see like there's beds and stuff in here which makes me think it's not it's not really a library See, because there it is. So I can't tell if it's following me or if it's just kind of randomly walking around. Oh, but I can run faster than it, which is very reassuring. Help if I knew where I was supposed to go. I actually have no idea. It's not this way though. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for not catching me. <laughs> okay, good. It's behind me. Oh my god, okay, this is good. This is good. This is what I want. It can't get me now. Because I'm way ahead of it. Did I just come back the way I came in? I don't think so. Did I? I don't think so. No, this is definitely different. This is a room full of couches. I wonder if I'm supposed to be going... I did see a light in the bottom left corner. I wonder if I'm supposed to be going that way. Did I come from this way? I did come from this way. I'm gonna go up there. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Whoops! Nope! 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 Alright, I just have to be strategic. Oh no! <laughs> no, how am I gonna get this guy? I need to like reroute him. It. I don't even know if this is a living creature. Please go away. Oh, he's stuck there now. Oh, good, he's not. Oh, good. I think I'm just gonna have to try and make a run for it. He's kind of just doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, I hope this doesn't take a while. I feel like I'm really close to the end of this game. I just did our last episode of Harvester. And now I feel super accomplished, even though I didn't realize I saved the last 15 minutes of the game for the very last episode. I'm hoping it'll be the same case with this game, but who knows. This is meant to be a really short game, and I've already been playing it for about an hour and a half, collectively. Okay, I'm gonna make a go for the bottom left corner. Because I saw a light down there. I think that's where I need to go. I thought I saw a light down there. Okay. 
Here we go. Let's try and make our way up here again. Nope. 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 Okay. He's up there. I'm gonna go down this way. There's two of them. There has to be. Oh my god, please don't catch me. Please don't catch me. Oh, I did it. No, I did it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what a relief. So I was just going the wrong way the whole time, I guess. Lemon skate key. Oh, do I have to go back the way I came? Is that a note from Simon? Uh -huh. Ahem. Oh my, that must have given you quite a fright, little marshmallow. At least you're finally beginning to see. That was Simon chasing us, wasn't it? Now, I wouldn't keep anything from you, my little marshmallow. So here's a key, my beloved. It'll bring us one step closer. I'll give it to you in good faith. Oh, I give it in good faith. This key is actually has two uses. The key can be used to exit the front door of the manor, which is where you'll find me. Off in the forest. Oh, another forest. However, if for some reason you still have business in this forsaken house, the key might also open the right wing of the manor on the first floor. I'll be waiting for you, my love. Well, but be careful. It seems the dead want you dead. Oh, spooky. Oh, thank goodness we don't have to go back the way we came. This game has done us a great mercy. Okay, I do not remember where the lamb escaped. Uh, keyhole is. Oh, and I feel really dumb because when I was editing the last four episodes, I realized I misread the sentences and I thought the doors were like in the different shapes when it was actually the keyholes are in different shapes and we were looking for keys of certain shapes. So I feel really dumb. Enneagram. Well, for the sake of completion, because I am a completionist, I'm going to save. Hell yeah, I'm going to save. Um, okay, you said right wing. I am gonna go use the key on the door that it was meant for, aside from the front door. He said right wing of the manor. So is this still a, is this still a heart shaped door? I think we were in this room before. I don't think this room had another door to it. No, I don't think so. You said right wing of the manor. Is this not the right wing? Well, let's try this one. Okay, so no, that's about that neogram. Uh, okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be anywhere to go, so I'm just gonna exit. Oh, I remember when we came in here. We were uh, making our way through a forest, and the guy, the announcer, kept showing us all these weird pictures. <laughs> And asking us what we see. Oh, we're on this road again, the lonely road. I think this is where we first encountered letters from Simon. There's some pylons. There's the, oh, there's a car crash again. A car accident. It wasn't there before, it was on the other side before. Oh, is that. What is that? Is that the, that's the forest we're just going to. Oh, okay. This 
pretty spooky. I have to say, this game does a really good job at creating an immersive ambiance. Like, they do a fine job of it. If you're listening to it with headphones on, which you should. And what the hell is that? That's- I'm scared. What is it? I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go check it out. Hello. What's your name? That's a pretty creepy scarecrow. It's gonna come to life and chase us. Don't tell me it won't, because I know it will. Look, it's not there anymore. Hmm. Well, we seem to be in a maze. Not really. We just have several ways to go. Well, kind of. Let's try north first. There's that lady again! <gasps> she was on the very first episode. I'll show you a clip if you don't remember. She talked to us. She's the only character in this game that actually had a voice. This isn't She right. talked to us in the subway when we first escaped. I think it's his sister. There's DLC to this game. I can play that too afterwards. Oh, there she goes. She's freaking me out. I don't know why she's so much- Oh, that's right, he's not human, that's why. I was wondering why she was so much bigger than him. It's because he's like a little marshmallow person. Well, she's a ghost, I mean, but she she's humanoid. <laughs> Hello. You again. I guess we're both headed the same way. Huh. Which probably means... Who are you? What are you hiding? Spit it out! What, can't you talk? If you're here and I'm here... Ugh. Just forget it. I'm looking for someone. I don't know if they're here. In fact, I don't even know who they are. But if they're here, I need to see them. Otherwise... habit of not finishing your sentences. Are you here to see Simon? Because honestly, if you see Simon before I do, tell him that you did not see me. A blank tombstone. That's kind of defeats the entire purpose of a tombstone. Tombstone with an epitaph. Josh Pebble, January 21st, 1987. The nicer of the two. Who's the other? Who's the other? Who's the other Pebble? There's a statue here with the strange eyeball shaped button at the top. Eye shaped button at the base along with the inscription. Open your eyes to the truth, close them to lies. Press it. <gasps> what happened? The scarecrow followed us. Hello. Looks like the scarecrow from before. <gasps> Maybe it is. Open your eyes to the truth, close them to lies. Does it turn on all the lights? Oh, I'm gonna turn all the lights then. Why are these all in the same year? Oh, Mr. Scarecrow left. I wonder if that was Simon. Yorkie Smith, October 14, 1987. Let it be known this man was a hero to many that gave his life in the line of duty. We appreciate your service, sir. scary sounds mean. Ooh! This appears to be a strange monument of a book made of stone. There's an inscription on the pages. Illuminate the path to the underworld, O oh, seer of truths, seer of lies. What started as one be then became two, they never saw eye to eye except when the eyes were concerned. Yes is what he said. Y-E-S is how he was read. 
it's all he had. A midsummer dream. So fitting he died giving a midsummer scream. Oh. Nah, uh, 9 times 8 plus 3 minus 72 divided by 121. Let it be seen, let it be heard. Poke the eye when you have learned. There's a button. Uh, not yet. Tom Sunderland, July 16, 1987. Remember, caution, slippery, one wet. Signs serve a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I like tombstones with a joke are a good idea. Like, I mean, some might see it as disrespectful, but honestly, like, if the person, if that's what the person wanted on their tombstone, or someone who knew the person really well put that on their tombstone, like, kind of brings a little, like, brings a little joy. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> Like, you know, like people who don't want a whole lot of grief and sadness surrounding their deaths, they would rather use it as a chance to try and make someone laugh, I think is what I mean. <laughs> I, th I think jokes on tombstones are possibly a good idea. Okay, Brian A. Stanford, March 11, 1987. Simple man lived a simple life with simple pleasures and a simple wife. That sounds wonderful, honestly. That just sounds lovely. Used to be an entrance leading underground sealed off by bars. But I don't. So there's a puzzle involved here. I'm not entirely sure how to solve it. Maybe if I light up one gravestone? Y E S. Yeah, that's this one. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to leave the light on for for the uh, guy with the initials that match the inscription on that book up there. So I'll do that and see what happens. Okay, so I just left the one on for the guy with the initials Y E S. Let's try it now. Um, I accept one eyes were concerned. Yes is what he said. Why yes is how he was read. I still don't know what the math problem is for. Okay, let's try this though. Nothing happened. Okay, so there's something else. Okay, I looked up a hint. Not a walkthrough. Just a hint. So each line in this book represents one of the graves. It's not talking about just one person. It's talking about several Um, what started as one became two, they never saw eye to eye except where eyes were concerned, so that's a person. Yes is what he said, why yes, okay, I got him, that's Yorkie Smith. It's all he had, a midsummer dream, so if any died giving a midsummer scream. And then there's that math question, so, okay, so there's at least three, and Yorkie Smith has to be lit up. I was going to cherish a good meal, so that one doesn't match anything, I don't think. Loved wife, sister, daughter, mom, we'll never forgive you. Forget you, sorry. <laughs> we'll never forgive you, that's a horrible thing to put on a, uh, a tombstone. I don't think she matches. Oh, the nicer of the two. I'm guessing this one stays on? Okay, so that one stays on. So I'm looking for summer months. That's July, so it could be that one. Uh, I don't think any... I remember there were spring ones and fall ones. I don't know about any others. Okay, I found the answer to the... <laughs> I found the answer to the math problem. I guess it means 311, which is... that Which is a month and a day. There's plenty of threes in this graveyard. I just have to find the 11, the one that has the date 11 in it, because most of these are March. This, I think it's this one, March 11th. Let's give it a go. Please open up. <laughs> We've been here long enough. There we go. Have you ever dreamed of flying? What? Are you afraid of heights? I actually don't know if this is Simon or not. I'll just read it normally. 
It's just, they seem so distant, so beautiful. Aw. Really though, afraid of heights with everything that you do? I thought you wouldn't be afraid of anything. I guess everyone's afraid of something, huh? Listen, I know you're a responsible person. You take on a heavier duty than anyone I've known. You try so hard and you trust so much. You're an idealist, you know? I know that's kind of weird to say considering what you do, but you aren't a monster. Animals kill each other all the time for survival, to prove superiority. I guess the reason we can't do that is because we know too much. It's scary how much more complex the world becomes as you learn more about it. The responsibility of knowledge. Let me ask you something. Do you want to kill me? Whoa. Hey now, that escalated. <laughs> well, do you? Well, if you ever do, you have my permission, okay? Why would you say that? I don't mind if it's you. You've done so much for me. I sometimes dream that I'm a bird. Soaring far above the earth. Oh, excuse me. Further and further into the horizon. I suppose that birds must be fairly perceptive. They can see tiny worms from way up there after all. I don't know. I know. I don't actually want to be a bird. Being that being that delicious would be a problem. I think I might just eat myself. It's a weird thing to say. And probably the novelty of pooping anywhere would be stretched thin doing several Probably the novelty of pooping anywhere would be stretched thin doing it several times a day. Oh, like it would use it, it would lose its amusement really quickly, I guess is what she means. I guess I just want to be free. I found that I've noticed this interesting thing they do with their text. They don't actually use capital I's, they use uh, square brackets instead of capital I's. I think that's interesting. With you, I feel more free than I ever have. Kind of funny, you know, because of your situation. Do you ever regret what I've asked you of? What I've asked of you? Do you? Do you ever get tired of reflecting on those good old days? Giving you the whole free as a bird routine. Do you think she really cared about you? But I guess what I think doesn't matter. After all, you're the contestant. What do you think? You think she's trustworthy? Uh, I definitely trust her. I trust her more than you. I don't trust her. She scares me. She does actually scare me, but she seems like she's supposed to be like a sister character who's very loving, so I'll say I trust her. Oh my. Well, I guess that's your decision to make. You're free to believe her. She whispers sweet nothings into your ear. back here. Oh, it's the train again. Something about those bodies. Almost looks like an insect or a cocoon. I was thinking that too. It does look like a cocoon. The skull is huge for a spider to hang up. It's better to hang that up in a web, it must be even bigger. Can't argue with that. I think we're almost finished. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Maybe that's where we are now. the cocoons again and they're sitting at every single bench now and this place is really scary and there's candles on the walls and I want to get out of here. Are we in hell? 
There's letters everywhere and there's news. Oh my god, this is so scary! Eight men hung to dry. Seven were sinful, one was a lie. You're the jury and the judge. You must lift this everlasting grudge. Oh my. Oh no, another puzzle. <laughs> she lowered herself quietly into the fridge. She had eaten a lot, but maybe she just had a smidge. He watched the rapist's execution on screen. The son of a bitch had it coming, he beamed. She admired her friend, she did. She wanted to live and experience her life, she hid. found a loose dollar to his luck. He figured, hey, it's just a buck. As he looked from him to they, he realized he was better in every way. Oh, is that so? As she moaned and she thrust, her partner came in and she cussed. The Lord asked them for a sacrifice. He gave up his son and hoped it would suffice. Some boy had fallen into the river, it seemed. She decided not to get up. It was not her responsibility, she deemed. Oh, so this is... We're supposed to pick the one that's not uh, highlighted by one of the seven, seven deadly sins. Eight men hung to dry. Seven were sinful. One was a lie. So we have to hang the seven who committed a sin. Um, so this is gluttony. Watch the rapist execution on screen. The son of a bitch had a coming beam. That's uh, that is wrath. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna come back to that one. She admired her friend. She did. She wanted to live and experience her life. She hid. Uh, that's envy. I've seen the movie Seven a great deal of times. I am the best person for this puzzle. <laughs> And a loose dollar to his luck. Like, hey, it's just a buck. That's greed. As he looked from him today, he realized he's better in every way. That is uh, pride. As she moaned and she thrust, her partner came in and she cussed. That's uh, lust. The Lord asked him for a sacrifice. He gave the son and hoped it would suffice. That's not a sin. What was this one? Oh, that's, uh, Sloth. That's, uh, that's Wrath. Did I do it? Make sure that your answer is just or else you'll be hanged, as you must. So wait, I'm actually confused. Am I supposed to pull the one that's not a sin? Because I'm not actually clear on that. Seven were sinful, one was a lie. You're the jury and the judge must list this ever left in grudge. Yeah, they don't make it clear as to which one you're supposed to... You're supposed to pull the seven or you're supposed to pull the one. I'm gonna pull this one. Huh. Let's give it a go. Find the righteous news and pull it. Oh, okay, so I did do that right then. Oh, we hung the announcer. And we're back. How are y'all doing? He's hanging from a noose. And it looks like we have a surprise guest. Don't be shy, huh? We've been waiting for you. Do you want to know a secret?
I didn't follow the directions. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a person up there. Did you see them? There's a person up there. They uh they saw us and they skedaddled. Love you. Oh, don't. Why? 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 Leave me. Do you have any last words? Oh, we're back to the back to his hanging now. And may God have mercy on your soul. Release the platform. for waking you sleepyhead but I needed to show you this. Close your eyes. Why? Because it's a surprise silly. I trust you more than anyone now. You're all I have left. When I found that thingy buried in our yard I never wanted to touch that thing. You know what mom said that well I guess you never really knew mom. I used it to be able to bring mom back. What? I'd be able to see my mama again. Our mama. Everything that's mine is yours. We're in this together. We'll always be together. The redhead lady in the forest. That's her mom, I bet. I know. I leave a lot of the work to you. Now open your eyes. With an itch and a tingle, and then it it's builds and expands. Ended there. And suddenly, all at once, my legs won't let me stand. Oh my god. Okay, so I did buy a package. Um, Yai Gameworks did release a game package on Steam, which I purchased. So I actually have three more games from them to play. So please let me know in the comments if you like this game. Um, if you'd like to see other games by Yai Gameworks, I do have them. So please let me know if you want to see them. I can play them at any time. I probably will anyway. But let me know what you thought of the game if you liked it. If you'd like to play this game yourself and get the other endings, link is in the description for you. So like I said, so for now, Thank you for watching. Thanks for being my player too. And until next time, don't get scared without me. It's making a home beneath my skin.